from a very misty Sabi Sands right across to quite a hazy Mara. A very warm welcome and I hope you're enjoying your live safari from two different African countries. My name is Jamie. This morning, Viam is on camera with me. Viam, of course, having had a very interesting evening trundling around the Mara. I was safely tucked away in my bed. And we are heading out to see what is happening with the migration. There we go. There's the start of it. Let me just make sure there's no one behind me. I'm patiently waiting to travel along. Good morning, Gnus. Oh, apparently Tristan has found more wildebeest than me. I doubt it. <laughs> Lou only saw the ones in the front. I doubt Tristan has found more wildebeest than me. Yep, there's a car coming. Sorry. Got to move up. I'm on the main road. I will get off the main road as soon as possible. Oh, we've got two missions today. We've got several missions. Morning. They seem okay. Um, I've got two missions this morning. One, of course, is to find the migration. The other was because I received a very interesting message last night. Oh, thank you very much, by the way, for the compliments on my hat. Still need some adjustments because, of course, our microphones sit in our hat. And I'm not entirely sure I've come up with the best solution here, but we'll get there. We'll get there. We've got two missions. One is the migration, and the other is the message that I received last night, and that is that a female Marshall Eagle has... There's, there's a researcher around here who studies the Marshall Eagles. His name is Stratton, and he has transmitters on several of the different eagles in this area. He knows where their nest sites are, and this particular female has been feeding off the same kill for two days just ahead of us, and we are... We have been tasked with the mission of going to find out what it is she's eating. And of course, it fits beautifully in with our plans of the migration story, because you never know. Might be the first ever recorded martial wildebeest kill. I doubt it, but let's go find out what she's chowing. The hat, of course, works very well out here, because the sun, it's a lot cooler here. And it's deceptively strong. And you end up, my poor ears are now... I mean, they've always been freckled, but they now are just one big freckle. So I thought it was time to do a little change, so Brent bought me a new hat. And it does work much better for keeping my ears protected. Hello, Gnus. Look at this. There's wildebeest everywhere. I was having a chat with one of the local guides who tells me he's never seen wildebeest like this. Never, ever. I, which I'm sure he says every year, but nevertheless, they are here. They are well and truly here. Morning. Let's get some, let's get some GNU si sound effects along with the balloons in the background. <laughs> now it's time to just sit and enjoy the atmosphere. I may never ever be able to sleep again without the lullaby of the gluing of the wildebeest. It's always the monotonous larks. It's like the monotonous larks, it's exactly like that. Where are we all off to? Neen, you say it is an amazing view of the gnus and the balloons? It is, indeed. The views here are spectacular. You can't beat them. But we can't dawdle for too long looking at the scenery. We've got a mission. One is to find the Marshall Eagle. The other is to go and find those young male lions, I think. James was with them last night. I was with them yesterday morning. And in fact, I was following them two weeks ago in the middle of the night before they managed to give me a slip. Hello, Gnus. <laughs> they are innately comic animals. I don't know why, they just are. And then I think on our way home what we'll do is we'll check up and see whether or not we can find the Angamas. What the Angamas have done during the migration, as the wildebeest were moving through here, they parked themselves in the river system and that was just where they stayed. They didn't need to move, they had water protection, safe places for the cubs to hide from hyenas, and wildebeest just marching through constantly. It 
it's like an all-you-can-eat buffet. Or one of those sushi counters, maybe, that just revolves around and they can take their pick of what they wanted to eat. But I think they might have come out now, so we'll go and see if we can find them. Last week's TV show, the idea was to tell the story of the Angamas, and they vanished, completely vanished. So I'm going to head across with a very definite mission in mind. I'm not sure what Tara's plan is, but let's find out from her.